Welcome, Professor. Please sit. A new disease has just appeared and you have been tasked to find the antidote. Be quick. Quicker than the other team we are pitting you against. Hi and welcome to Oli Plays A Lot. My name is Oli and today we will learn how to play Save Patient Zero, a logical deduction game for 1-7 to seven players created by Cedric Martinez and published by Helvetic. In a multiplayer game, two teams will compete to be the first to create the antidote. To do this, turn by turn they will use tool cards which help them narrow the pool of possible molecules until they find the three needed to create the world saving and more important, the game winning antidote. In the first part of the tutorial, we will talk about the base game. After, I will mention a couple of variants that might spice up the game a bit. There are two roles in the game. Savvy is the game master who is not part of any of the teams. It knows which three molecules the teams are searching for and based on this knowledge, whenever it is handed a tool card, it will carry out its actions. This role can optionally be substituted with the dedicated and free to download Save Patient Zero app available both for Android and iOS devices. No matter if you're playing with or without the app, the rules are the same and the only gameplay difference is that you do not hand over the card to a physical being but just play it face up in front of you and then introduce your choices in the app. Today I will assume that there is a game master and will leave you to discover the app on your own. Continuing with the two roles of the game, I mentioned that one is that of savvy and all other players are the scientists. They will split up in two groups of roughly equal numbers and sit preferably on opposite sides of the table. Each team takes the components in their matching colors. Lab M is red and Lab T is blue. Open and stand up the screen in front of you. Aside from creating a secret zone that is not visible to the other team, the screen also serves as a player aid. Hide your research sheet behind it and throughout the game make sure not to show the opposing team any information you write on it. None of the other components must be kept a secret. Now it's time to come up with an awesome name for your team and write the name of every player on the sheet. Each team has an identical deck of sample cards made up of cards numbered from 1 to 40 that all contain a combination of 5 molecules. Shuffle your sample cards and place the deck face down next to your sheet. Unless otherwise instructed, you are not allowed to look through the deck. Each team also has an identical deck of tool cards made up of 24 cards, each showing a specific tool with the name at the bottom, symbol in the middle and an illustration at the top. If playing an easier game, select every copy of the following tool cards, placing any other card back in the game box. Deducto, Sampli, Analyzer, Scampad, Intervallo and Antidote. If you are playing the full game, take the whole deck of tool cards and place it face up next to your research sheet. Take all the other components and place them in your play area. One scan pad, one centrifugo, one estugamo and one pencil. Each molecule card contains one specific molecule out of 25. Savvy should shuffle the molecule card deck, randomly draw three cards, check them and place them in front of it, leaving the molecule card deck face down nearby. These cards should be kept secret from all players. Save Patient Zero is played over several rounds until one team successfully finds the antidote. In each turn, both teams simultaneously select a tool card from their deck and hand it over to Savvy. Starting with the team that handed over the tool card earlier, Savvy will give instructions to each team separately and in secret, which they will note on their research sheet. After using a tool card, it is discarded and cannot be used anymore during the game. Let's check what each tool card does and how to take notes on your research sheet. Remember that any action associated with the tool card should only be done when Savvy instructs you to do so. When using the sample, you draw the top three cards of the sample card deck and pass it to Savvy, who will then place every positive card, the ones that include at least one of the three selected molecules on the right side of your research sheet and the negative cards, the rest, on the left. In our example, because molecules 2, 11 and 21 were the ones set aside at the beginning of the game by Savvy, the players would place these two 
positive cards on the right side of the research sheet next to the tick symbol because one contains molecules 2 and 11 and the other one molecule 21 and place the third negative card on the left side of the sheet next to the X symbol because it contains none of the three molecules. When using the microscopo, you have one minute to look through the deck of sample cards and choose two to give to Savvy. Shuffle and place the sample cards deck face down next to your sheet. Savvy will perform the actions previously mentioned, placing the positive cards on the right side of your research sheet and the negative ones on the left. In our case, both cards are positive because one contains molecules 2 and 21, the other one molecule 11. After having at least one positive card, you can use the analyzer. Savvy will place three positive cards of your choice to the bottom of your board, in the left column if it only contains one secret molecule, in the middle column if it contains two, and in the right column if it contains three. Make sure you don't move the cards to a different column or you will blow up the whole lab and worse, lose the game. When using the deducto, you will be handed five molecule cards drawn from the set aside face down molecule cards deck. Make sure you cross these out on your research sheet as they are guaranteed not part of the solution. In our case, molecules three, nine, 15, 16, and 17 should be crossed out. After deducto was used, you can use Colosomi to hand over one of the five cards you received. Savvy would then indicate if the color of that molecule matches any of the secret molecules. In our case, we handed over a purple molecule, which is not the color of any of our secret molecules. So Savvy fills in this box. When using the intervallo, you must decide to use the minimum or maximum function of the tool. If we choose the minimum function, Savvy would mark the row that includes the secret molecule with the lowest number. In our case, the first row because of molecule number two. You might have guessed it by now. If we choose the maximum function, Savvy would mark the row that contains the secret molecule with the highest number. In our case, the fifth row because of molecule number 21. When using the scan pad, you would position your scan pad device over six molecules on your research sheet, orientating it as you wish, vertically or horizontally. Savvy will then mark on your research sheet the number of secret molecules that are in the frame. In our case, none. Given that you take the scan pad device off your research sheet at the end of this action, I advise you mark the scanned zone by drawing a rectangle around the molecules. When using the centrifugal, you would position the centrifugal device on your research sheet so that the arrows point at four molecules. Savvy would indicate if at least one of these is part of the solution. In our case, no. Again, I suggest you draw a rectangle around these four molecules. When using the estugamo, you would position your estugamo device on your research sheet so that the arrows point to a row or column. Savvy would then mark whether the selected row or column contains a secret molecule. In our case, this column does contain molecule number two, so Savvy would put a tick there. Hex is a tool that allows you to copy the tool card the opposing team played in the same round. For example, if the opposing team played the microscopo, our hex card counts as a microscopo, and we will perform the actions associated with it. In this case, going through the deck of tool cards, selecting two and passing it to Savvy, and so on. The opposing team does not lose the original card and will also perform its actions. In case both teams played hacks in the same turn, tough luck. They are discarded and the game continues with the next round. When using Spionado, Savvy randomly takes two negative cards from the opposing team and lets you check them, then gives them back. Make sure to cross out each molecule in your sheet as those are guaranteed not part of the solution. When using Fusio, Savvy calculates the sum of the three secret molecules and marks the box that matches the sum. In our case, the sum of the molecules is 34, so Savvy would mark the box 33 to 39. The Subtracto tool is somewhat similar to Fusio, but here Savvy randomly chooses two of the three molecules and writes the difference between them. If, for example, the randomly drawn cards are 21 and 2, Savvy would write 19 in one of the subtracto boxes. When using Mesacol, Savvy marks the color of the secret molecule with the middle value. In our case, he would fill in the light blue box 
because molecule number 11 is light blue. The last tool card at your disposal is the antidote. When you are confident that you know the three secret molecules, circle them and show your proposal to Savvy. It would then put a tick in the antidote section in the first row if none of the molecules are correct, second row if only one is correct, third row if two are correct, and last row if all are correct. Whichever lab finds the three secret molecules first wins. This time we only found two of the three secret molecules, so the game continues. We still have a second chance. If we play our second and last antidote card and don't find the solution, we lose and the other team can use as many tools as needed to find the antidote. If they bust twice, both teams lose, which only means one thing. Next time, we all need to be smarter. Now that we know how the base game plays, let's check a few variants that give it a twist. In a multiplayer game with the no savvy mode, each lab draws three molecule cards from the molecule cards deck that the opposing lab must find. The two labs act as their opponent's savvy and must give truthful answers to their questions. Remove the spionado tool and make sure not to check the cards that you pass to your opponent as an answer to the deducto tool. In the one to two player game with the lean mode, one player is the guesser, the other one or the app in a solo player mode is savvy. Because there is no opposing team, the goal is to find the antidote using the fewest tool cards as possible. Check your score on page seven of the rulebook. With the agile mode, each lab would randomly remove 10 tool cards from their tool deck, leaving both antidote cards in the deck. The base rules remain the same, but the labs now have less tools at their disposal. The disruption mode introduces the disruption deck, which must be shuffled and placed face down in front of Savvy during setup. After each lab plays three cards, Savvy draws a disruption card and both teams apply its effect. Sometimes this means they must throw away cards, are not allowed to use some for a couple of turns or are obliged to play some. Let's look at each. Electropaneo. Neither lab can use the scam pad, estugamo and centrifugo tools in the next two turns. Colora. Neither lab can use the colosomi or mesical tools for the rest of the game. These tools should be placed back in the game box. Malbonamatico. Neither lab can use the fusio or subtracto tools for the rest of the game. These tools should be placed back in the game box. Onidiro. Neither lab can use the microscopo tool for the rest of the game. Place it back in the game box. Processo. Neither lab can use the spionado tool for the rest of the game. Place it back in the game box. Limigo. Both labs must discard tool cards until they have only one of each type. Cards already played do not count. If for example we played the sampli tool in a previous round, we would keep the second copy in our deck and discard the third copy. If no sampling cards was played, we would keep one in our deck and discard the second and third copy. Collapso. Both labs shuffle their tool card deck and discard the topmost card. It will not be used in this game. Constructado. Labs cannot take notes anywhere for the rest of the game. Savvy is allowed to write on their research sheet. Malferma. Labs must exchange research sheets for 10 seconds. Given that in no savvy mode the teams have different secret molecules, this card should be substituted if drawn. Restructurado. Labs must exchange their research sheets for the rest of the game. Cards don't switch owner. Planado. Both labs choose which five tools they will play in the next five turns, put them in order with the topmost face down card being the first one and hand them to savvy. Micro Administrado. Both labs shuffle their tool card deck, place it face down and draw the topmost three cards which must be played in the next three rounds in order drawn. Antidote cards should be substituted with another tool if drawn. Premo. Both labs must play the antidote card in the next round. Misfuncio. The scam pad malfunctions and will alter the result by one for the rest of the game. This means that when the result is zero, Savvy would mark one. When the result is one, Savvy could mark zero or two. When the result is two, Savvy would mark either one or three. And when the result is three, Savvy would mark two. When presented with multiple options, Savvy decides which one to choose. Crisio. Both labs have only four turns left to find the antidote. If they run out of time, they all lose. And that is everything you need to know to play 
Save Patient Zero, and Save the World Professor. If you have any questions regarding the rules, I'm here to help. If you enjoyed the tutorial, you can show your appreciation by liking it, and if you're new to the channel, I invite you to subscribe to it and press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. My name is Oli, and you have been watching Oli Plays A Lot. Until next time, have fun playing games. Bye.